In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove and replace spark plugs on a 2.4 liter on a Jeep Wrangler. We're gonna remove the air box. First, we'll take the actual air filter side of it out, set it aside. We'll disconnect the 30 millimeter nut right here. Put your socket on it. It's the bottom bracket. We can break that free. Lift that up. Now you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. We're gonna take the hose clamp off the throttle body. Loosen that up and also take the hose off the valve cover from the air box. Just give it a pull and lift it up. Now we're gonna take our ground off our battery cable, 13 millimeter or a half inch wrench and break that free. Spin that right off. Tuck it away somewhere so it doesn't ground out. So the ignition coil is located right here on the top of the valve cover, right in front of the throttle body. Four spark plug wires go into it and it's marked for cylinder one, two, three, four. And we have one, two, three, four. So we move the plug wires first and what you can do is just pull and twist. Now we're going to disconnect the connector to the ignition coil. There's a little red tab here, that's a lock tab. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and push that out. Bring that out. And then there's the push down tab. I'm going to push down on that tab and then push the connector out. Pull it out. And there we go. There's four mounting screws, they're 10 millimeter socket. We're going to take all four out and then remove the ignition coil. Lift that up and out of the way. Now we're going to disconnect the IAC valve. It's the lower sensor on the throttle body. I'm going to squeeze tab right here and push. Pull. Just like that. Throttle position sensor has a lock tab, that little red tab. Push that right out with a flathead screwdriver, then push down that tab and pull it out. I'm going to leave the throttle cable on because the bracket is mounted to the throttle body, so I just need to remove the three mounting bolts and then lay that aside. 10 millimeter socket. The lower one is right here at 5 o'clock. and the two top ones. Now all we have to do is take this and just lay it on the side. So now I'm going to pull the spark plug wires out. Noting that the shorter ones go on the two center cylinders. They'll go on two and three.
Now using a 5 8 spark plug socket with an extension, I'm going to stop pulling the spark plugs. Now I'm going to install the spark plugs. Guide it softly down into that cylinder hole. Hand tighten it. And once it bottoms out, you're going to torque it to 11 foot pounds. That's basically once you feel that crush washer bottom out, it's about a quarter of a turn. Do the same procedure to the other three spark plugs. Before you do install your spark plugs, you want to put all four of them together and check the gap. These are non-adjustable because they're iridium and you can damage that tip and then actually damage the spark plug. So you just want to give it a visual and make sure they're all the same gap. Now this back one could be a little difficult because you don't want to cross thread that cylinder and if this harness is in the way, then feel free to get it out of the way. Here we have our four plug wires and you have the two short ones and the two long ones. Short ones are going to go in the center and the long ones are going to go one and four. I'm going to guide this right into that little side boot. I'm going to put it right on cylinder one, push it down until it pops. Okay, we'll move on to cylinder two, push it down until it clicks. Yep. And then three and four. So now we're going to examine our throttle body gasket to the intake. Uh, it's a rubber seal. As long as it's not flattened or oil soaked, swollen, torn, it can be reused. So we're going to just take our throttle body and guide it right over. And get the three mounting screws. socket and just snugging them up before you torque it. millimeter socket and we're going to torque the throttle body bolts to intake at 105 inch pounds. I'm going to just really snug them up before I torque them in a crisscross pattern. Install our new coil using the old mounting bolts. Just 
transfer them over, start them by hand. We're going to torque all four coil bolts to 105 inch pounds. Let's connect our ignition coil harness until it clicks and then push that red lock tab. Number one cylinder, number one spark plug, number two, number two. We're gonna put two on first, see if we can keep it from bending and getting in the way. Same over here. Three and four. Four, the furthest one away. Three is in the center. Let's connect our IAC valve and our throttle position sensor. Push that red tab in. Install the airbox. I like to line up that vent hose first and then the throttle body air hose. Just like that. Then down here is that tab that goes in that rubber bushing. We'll line it up. And push down. Take a flat screwdriver, tighten up the hose on the throttle body. The back air box bracket nut right on that stud, 13 millimeter socket. Snug that right up. Take the air box and put the air filter in it. Pull the tabs away. We're gonna bring the tabs ears in the back here and move it forward. Just like that. So now we will attach the negative cable. Make sure it is all the way down on that terminal end. And you're going to have a half inch or a 13 millimeter wrench or socket and snug this up. You want to make sure it does not move. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. 
Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.